Yes, Sunday, June 4th, 2023, and you've probably guessed it from what's on the cart. We're gonna start here at this brush pile. This section, we've already used the brush cutter. We're gonna use the pruning shears walk and clean up, and then we have to do both the brush cutter and the pruning shears and clean this part up. So, uh, it's been, been a pretty uh, enjoyable uh, flowing type of project so we'll see we finish up the soil trail and then we'll move on to the next seasonal uh, trail maintenance project okay we still got some water we'll see how much is left when I'm done making this video oh, not very much so we uh, use the pruning shears on this side and like usual, I like to walk my project at the end of a session. So pick up tools, make notes to self, any loose branches or things that need to be looked at. So yeah, there's quite a bit. I haven't really been able to get into this section here in the past couple seasons. So there's quite a bit that needed to get trimmed out. And the brush trimmer definitely helped get all the small stuff and the pruning shoe. There's a lot of pruning to do too. And that brings us to this section which we used a brush cutter and then we had to go back through and do pruning there's lots of real thin things hanging way over uh, and they just break in the, the snow and heavy rains and I have to go in and trim them all up anyway so it's best just to trim them up they go on the brush pile there's a brush pile over here and they can give back to to Gaia you know support the little critters and the birds and then we get a chipper and we can make wood chips and use it on the trail yeah so this is a side going back there's quite a bit of uh yeah not not so much of the brush cutter some but definitely a lot of hand pruning in this section is because a lot of long thin overhanging branches oh yeah so i think this we've got a couple here that we should really trim out like this one we shouldn't leave this one here. This, I have to go get the clippers. And another one here that we should probably trim out. Just to, uh, it feels like that's what it wants. That brings us back to our spot here. So that kind of completes the soil trail. Uh, it took us four or five days, but both sides. We got it trimmed up for the season. And this might even last us into the through the fall too. We may not need to do as much, definitely not as much in the fall. Uh, depends how fast the, the small things grow, but we could even, you know, that might just be taking the brush cutter and just going quickly or even taking the, the lawn tractor and just getting in between her a little bit more wider than normal trail. All right, I gotta clip those two small ones and then we'll see what happens next. All right, we got a little bit of water left. This is like the main trail goes north to south pretty long but this section here really did not get cleaned up last year for whatever reason uh, with surgeries and joints and things like that uh, it really didn't get in here to clean it up so I'm thinking I'm just gonna just do a little section here just on one side with the water I have left and when the water's out we're gonna pack up and go home water bottle is empty all right, so let's have a look. We just did this section here. So we cleaned up with the brush cutter, went through with the pruning shears. I had a trim way back there at the pruning shears just because there was a lot of very long overhanging way out here. You can kind of see how much it's really grown over. It has not been trimmed back in a couple years. Uh, so we got started today. Let's have a look and walk our project site. So we like to mow to about where the tree line is here. That gives us, you know, a good four or five foot mowed path here on this side. Uh, next door neighbor's out with his motorbikes yesterday, having a good time. He enjoys the trail maintenance. Yeah, so we were able to cut back, trim up, all the way to this brush pile here. And you can see this section, I think I got to last season. It couldn't have been in the fall maybe spring yeah I don't know with my shoulder and everything all right water's out let's go home
I just just want to point out this like this is the intent is that you know, this is like kind of the mode section right here right four inches and all this over here is just tall grass and wildflowers a lot of nice buttercups uh, but we don't want brush overhanging we just like to keep it cut so the tall grasses and buttercups can come on come in right but you can see if you don't trim back right and then you start getting all that stuff overhanging right I took the golf cart down there yesterday for two days ago with my grandson and you know we're both ducking and trying to get out of the way of getting hit in the head with branches so that's no fun